Somebody called her name was the Media Wench. The Media Wench? Oh, Echoplex Media. Okay, so Echoplex Media, um, they've been, I was going to let you in. They were going after Betty, and then somehow I saw them, and they were talking about, they were going to start doing shows talking shit about me. And I dropped them a comment and said, you don't want to come after me. I'm a person that's been under attack by these fucking people for almost two years. Do not fucking start coming after me. So this is the woman on that show. She wants to come in. So I guess let's have a talk and ask why they wanted to come after me. I'm not, I'm not the one. So we're going to let her in and see what happens. Hi, how are you doing? Good, but like to say you're not interesting enough to do that, that's just mean. Why be mean? Well, okay, that's the producer, and the producer has a different approach to things than I do. Um, really, the only reason that I wanted to talk to you, and this is, I don't know what your stream is about or what your other dramas that you got going on, but I only wanted to uh, to get more information about Betty Washam because that bitch is like 12 shades of crazy. So any other insights that can uh, can go along with, you know, just basically continuing on that storyline. Yeah, yeah. And it's really all that I'm interested in. When, when when whoever came over that was a few months ago and I said, I will give you tons of information on that. I have tons of screenshots. I've got videos. I have 200 videos because she is the one that was behind doxing me last year. So if you heard my story, you'd understand it comes directly out of her. She is what starts the whole thing. And then why? Because I busted her for being a fucking fraud. And I've got a video where she says that she and, D and DJ Lion, you know, Daniel, that crazy Daniel guy. Do you know who he is? I'm vaguely. Okay. She goes, I asked her because I was in her chat for two months, but I was, there were so many inconsistencies, right? And I was like, this doesn't make sense. I was catching all the lies, okay? So I say to her, because she, she had been going after this DJ lion, Daniel, this crazy preacher guy. So she's like, uh, not talk. I go, why aren't you talking about Daniel anymore? She goes, oh, well, I, I'm not going to be talking about that. And then they sidetracked and we're talking. And then I went, she, I go, you didn't finish answering my question. Okay. I have this on a hard drive. I can send it to you. She goes, well, I'm not going to be talking about him anymore because we basically get paid by the same people. She said that. Okay. Well, I, I mean, have it. you don't really have to dig very f deeply to find out that Betty is batshit fucking crazy. So, yeah. I mean, maybe her saying something crazy about somebody else isn't like something that is rooted in fact, but just is in fact crazy. Well, like whenever she says, like, I know people who are in the CIA and the NSA, it's like anybody who is legitimately affiliated with any of those organizations would never have anything to do with something like somebody like her, let alone tell her that they were involved in those types of organizations. Can so, I just bring up something real quick? I just want to yeah. key in just real quick. Uh, I don't know much about Betty, but it does seem like that there are, uh, let's just say, entities out there that that purport to support Trump, but it's actually make them to make them look really bad. I mean, if if you have somebody, if you if you have a supporter that says shit like this, they do Hunger Games down there, they do adoption, and they eat people. Then maybe like. You need to re-examine your base. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> like good job. Like, like because the vampires are getting hungry. I mean, <laughs> is that somebody that you're going to take seriously? No, but listen, she 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 slipped when she said this. Now, what happens next? I go out because what she what it was called. What I found out, it's called the pity donation lark. It's by her crying the blues about all her adversity that gets the money pouring in, okay? So she had all these people that were attacking her and making these videos, and she'd go, I'm crying. Oh, look what they're doing to me. And we would all be like, oh, poor Betty, poor Betty, because we didn't know yet. So I go out to the number one guy that is denigrating her and attacking her. 
And I say to him, what's Betty's scam? And he says, oh, take it easy on Betty. She's got a brain injury. And I said, that's real strange because you're attacking her all the time, but you're telling me to take it easy. And right after that, he started attacking me and then they doxed me. And she's involved. And I've got screenshots to prove the person that made the call for the false welfare check is connected to Betty and this motherfucker in the UK. Excuse my language. His name is Spoof, my language. Spoof, Spoof Movement. So if you guys saw like the truth of what my experience has been here, you'd understand that what they've tried to do is absolutely destroy me. And right. rising out of the ashes, when you're being attacked like that, when you're sick. You may not act perfect all the time, but I have never stopped speaking the truth about these people that are lying and scamming and LARPing and, and that are not being honest on here. Right. Okay. Let me, okay. We have a lot of experience dealing with crazy people and the way that you are maybe going about trying to clean up the situation is maybe more inflammatory and incites more response than would solutions. Do you see what I'm saying? Well, in Malibu's defense, there are people that do come to um, kind of, let's say a, an awakening by getting involved mm -hmm. with movements online there is right but this isn't, a, this, there. isn't this isn't about any movement online this is about drama between three people who make youtube videos right i mean this is like the, this is the crux that of the is, situation no 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 no, 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 that's no. Where it it starts. Is that is not true that is just the same as when people say oh it's just a cat fight no it is not i was swatted by these people do you know how many people when there's welfare checks called on them that are end up killed by the police don't make light of what i've gone through and you're not in my shoes so don't judge how i handle it i'm doing the best i can you come in judging me you don't know me you don't know my life well, I neither do the, the, neither do the hanger honors of betty washam Wait. either so what? i mean if you're gonna poke what? a if you're going to poke a stick into a trash pile of people, then you're going to get a trash pile response. Look, I've called people out because they've been lying about me. Well, Very. then, I mean, do you know them? The, what's the yes. point of it? I mean, I get yes. fucking fucked with constantly by people on Facebook, on YouTube, on have Twitter, you, everywhere. Doxed, no, because they don't fucking give out my personal information. I didn't give it out knowingly. When I came online to YouTube, it was in 2018 in, in July. I had never been on a live stream before. I'm a total ignorant person. I've operated in the working world for 40 years. I started working at the age of 13. Professionally, I didn't know that when you come on the internet, you have to hide your real name. I was operating off of Facebook. And we have our real names and we're finding each other. I come on YouTube with my real name. When I see what starts going down, I pull my name off. But people already saw it. So I did not know. And why would you criticize me? I did, did not know. I was very ill hey, at the time. Malibu, Malibu, hold on. I don't think it's so much a criticism. It's just another another view of try to how to take care of a situation like that. Like, if you stopped making videos about them, then they wouldn't have anything to watch. Right. It's we, like, hold on, Betty hold didn't on. make a video, right, and right, then every on. time we, we go in there, this. she right. made the video about us, we no, no, wouldn't hold on. really cover her anymore. <laughs> right. No, so no, no. And, and I, I comprehend that, but it's, it's when you do poke the stick in there, it means you're pissed off and coming at it kind of fresh and calling out the subversiveness of the whole thing. It, it, did they not expect that to happen? When well, you start messing with people like that? And well, yeah, you're messing with people online. These aren't people that you know. These aren't your friends. These aren't somebody that you've sat down and have a cup of coffee with or picked you up at the fucking airport or whatever. 
these are just people online. They could be anybody. They could the be any is, shitty person. The thing so is, what they're trying to do like is squash so personally creativity. involved with people that you've never really had a real life interaction with. This is a circular that argument. To a whole other set of like. You don't get it. They took it offline. They called my employer and said I was mentally unstable. They have tried to affect my livelihood. You don't get it. I'm getting it's ready. It's doing something about it instead of just shutting up. And that's the point. Like people want. You shut but up. It doesn't seem to be getting people. anybody the results the, that the they're looking I for. Look it this, seems to be causing more and more and more problems. The way I look at this is it's okay, who told it's you that? documenting. I see it's documenting as much as you can. Lisa Lake, I am generic. You are cool with people that are denigrating my life. You're cool with them. And then you and your friends talked about with this Lisa Lake, who has maliciously doxxed me for 10 months. And let me just give you a little inside thing. You don't want to have, you don't want to attach your caboose to that fucking train because she maliciously doxxed me for 10 months straight. Every picture, every address, every phone number, malicious doxing is illegal. Don't Attached to those people, they are part of a stalking thing that the police are pursuing here in Arizona through statutes, and they will have protective orders served on them in their states. It's a serious matter. You don't get it. You're I don't even know who you're talking people. about. Who are you talking about? I'm talking about you were in a thing laughing with that girl that is making video after video after video about me. And well, you're I you're making you, video after video after video no, about I'm, other people. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. And what are you doing I, right now? Right now I'm addressing somebody that just lied about me. Well, you're so, making videos about somebody else, right? You make videos about somebody else. It's okay when you do it, right? Well, we make videos about fucking everybody. We make so what? We, we, what? We're, we stream five days a week. Yeah, but your mission statement isn't about helping people. I want to help people. No, no, no. We don't want to help people. That's right. we don't want to <laughs> helping help people, people ends up in this type of situation. Where no, no, no. We don't want to help people.